are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pumps. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. I've got visual confirmation on the door. Nice shooting. Be advised, Ball is nearing the lab. Agent Team 6, you ready? Spear gun loaded. Agent Team 6, deploy! First is down. I'm reading both force fields down. Strong work, Team 6. Every time. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. And your son, uh, what's his name, Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too, yeah? Shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, mm. Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over. Keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine. Which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over that cane. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. 
Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. Come on! Weak slide. I expected more. Jump for it! We're in trouble! Escape, Koopa. I'm getting squished. Oh, this is bad. Help me out. It's not working. Save yourself. If he wants to eat, eat this. It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. 
I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. The cool thing here is that if you don't have line of sight, the waypoint will automatically stretch above whatever's blocking your view. Scan the horizon and you'll always find it. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley. What's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Turner that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja fire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. to get this operation underway. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. 
When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Partner, I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Dimitri. Long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you're still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Bolivia! Wait! Rat me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <sighs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I can throw the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. 
If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Leave! Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame? I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in handcuff lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray no sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a warrant to search his opera house mansion, so we're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out there and keep your eyes open. I've hired you mercenaries over traditional cops because this is a dangerous assignment. The neighborhood is filled with the Octavio goons. It's a war out there. Get tough, or you won't last five minutes. You hear me? I'm paying for results. The city of Venice needs this situation resolved now. Okay, I know you boys like things redundant, so I'm going to give you the presentation again. This time, pay attention. You're not getting paid to nap. Just let me get my note cards back in order. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. There be light. You look a lot better in the dark, Petrov. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> Make up your mind already. I can see, da! I can see! Oh, come on. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Murray. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. 
Don't worry, no mind. Straight way our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. That manual works both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray. We need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well... It's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Sly, you better get over here. 
My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. I'm on my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hotwired by the time I get there. Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazay! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. This canal is packed with shipping. Make sure to jump the feed or we're sunk. Let's take these guys out. Sorry, Sly. My gun overheated. Yes, I should use short bursts. End of the Blue Vipers. Another uneventful patrol. This city is beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. intercepted a radio message from one of Octavio's men. The Don is moving towards your position. Great. You want me to take him? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that... I don't know. Attractive? Hold up, here he comes. That's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binocular to take photos. Excellent. A few more of these and the cops will bury this guy. Follow him. He might be headed for some more polluting. Oh, 
la sofa mi reggio Get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. <laughs> This idea. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast. Nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't feel it back. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, seriously. That thief! He's twisted a time modern amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing. Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. 
Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do it. Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you could get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay. Have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. <laughs> Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Okay? On my three. One, two, three! Let's try it again. One, two, three! Nice! Like Octavio is fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right. Drat, my booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. Door ahead of you is reinforced. 
finished. We'll need to bob our way through it. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. Hmm, <laughs> this door is made of four inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. Nice of you two to stop by for a little fatherly advice. Julius made a run for it, and uh, the curtain fell. Now, normally I'd whack a both of you, but it's a carnival, and I'm feeling charitable. So I think of something else. have a lock switch somewhere. Okay, here's the deal. You two stoolies are gonna be in my new eyes and ears. I can't let no one get near my demolition switch or sabotage any part of the operation down here. If you hear any noise from inside of the family that someone's uh, not content, then you tell me straight out. I can't be taking no chances this close to a short time. Judging from the security, we must be getting close. It's live! watches and one two three we're in yes a Wurlitzer 700 I can splice into this easy just as long as you're enjoying yourself that's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. What? A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. Intruders! Exploders! Exploders! I've almost got it. Exploders. So close. Thank <laughs> you. 
download complete. Now we can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. I said you were looking for me? We need your help to destroy some tar drums. I'm done with all that. I found a new path. It's full of peacefulness. Come on, what happened to the Murray? The guy who'd get into a fist fight with ten thugs wearing nothing but a towel. The guy who used to punch first and not bother asking questions later. Where's that guy? Where's my old friend? I I'm sorry, Bentley. I, I tried to save you, but I just wasn't strong enough. Get over it, Murray. I don't blame you and never have. The only thing I feel bad about is losing my pal. Look, I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? You wouldn't have to punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful, and I'll smash up anything you'd like. As a student of the Australian Dreamtime, I'm sure you've learned of the ball form. Yeah, sure, like my first week. Excellent. Tuck into ball form and clog that vent pipe. The pressure buildup should shoot you skyward. Maintain your ball form and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome! Yeah, that's totally peaceful. I'm sure my guru wouldn't mind. Press the L1 button to go into ball form. Hit the X button on impact to keep your bounces high. I'm projecting some markers to help you find the tar drum. That's one tar drum down the drain. This is great, Murray. Those tar drums are an integral part of Octavio's scheme. With them out of the picture, you're that much closer to seeing the black water run clear. I promise. You're really getting the hang of hang time. That tar drum didn't know what hit it. Uh, in a peaceful sense, of course. Keep this up, and the 
environmentalists will send a thank you card. Nice work, Murray. It's a pleasure to see you back in action. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten who my friends are. I'm just playing with a different deck. Bentley, looks like you found one of Octavio's Vincenetti goons. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah, he's following me. Too close for comfort. You gotta move! Now to get those mercenary apes involved. Hey, uh, all you fake cops, go home. We don't need no more stupid thugs in Venezia. I might not be a real cop, but I've got feelings, pal. And you just hurt them. You talking to me, fruitcake? Cause I don't need a day. Eat missile, punk! This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her ape guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. Inspector Fox, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take him together. Keep it up, Inspector Fox. This guy's about to fall. Quality marksmanship. We've almost got him. Inspector Fox, I have been down in Sector 4. Please do help me.
Vincenetti presence has been detected. Good work, man. For mercenaries, you fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. one of his legit coffee houses. Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise can be assigned as a power-up. When hailed by guards, make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Halt! Tell me the daytime password. As I expected. Here you go. Alto, alto. Base, base. Okay. Okay, I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for the night. Carnival, uh, good times, eh? I can't believe that worked. You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard. No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. First coffee house I've ever seen with wall-to-wall -wall laser security. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. Strong work. We're still clear up front. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. You! Ferris wheel password! Quickly! Here's the password slide. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Yep. You there! What's the Carnivale password? Sending password now. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, am I glad you're here. Mama's making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates of food. I guess that you really like her cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a hell. Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. You know, 
I just can't get it out of my head. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? Almost there, partner. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right, we got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. Password. Here's the password, Sly. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Yep. Yeah, you know the code, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new, uh, just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take it this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. Halt! Ferris wheel password, quickly! As I expected. Here you go. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Okay, okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, a egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him, don't wanna know. You there, tell me the daytime password. Uploading you the password. Alto, alto, bass, bass. Sorry about that. Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me both, pal. Uh, hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's a nickname is? Ha <laughs> Yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. Nice job getting the nickname. You're really fitting in with these mobsters, Sly. Maybe you should switch teams. Get an apartment with the Killer B. What's the carnival password? Sending password now. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Okay. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's a heard of Tony the Killer B. You're the terror of every player grounder from here to Sicily. Ha ha ha, real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during carnival. Who's got the last lap now, tougher guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. You've got.
got real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agreed. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. There's just too many of them. The safety of the safe house. over this Carnival fireworks stand as a base of operations for our next job. We need to take out the side and balloons advertising Octavio's big comeback opera recital. I hear ya. If no one shows up for him to extort with his building sinking scheme, then why would he bother with the demonstration? Excavating all that tar seems like a big operation. You'd think he'd hold off until he had an audience. Exactly. Now, I've cobbled together a few explosives powerful enough to destroy the anchors to those balloons. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on fuses. Then, I'll be quick. Place the dynamite when you get near the anchor, or kaboom! Raccoon parts everywhere! One less ad polluting the Venetian skyline. Head on back to the fireworks stand. I've got another stick of TNT ready, and the wind's blowing in the right direction for stage two of our assault. That explosive had some kick. It was a child compared to this ferocious beast. Don't dilly-dally with this one. It's got a longer fuse, but you've got farther to run. Ferocious beast? Run, Sly, run! Near the beast! Sorry, pal. See if you can climb up and knock the balloon free. 
I'll start putting together another explosive for the side. Such a shame. I was really looking forward to seeing that balloon burn. Fascinating chemical reaction. A solid blow from your cane should dislodge the balloon. Oh, looks like we've got a new ferocious beast on this operation. Come on back and what? Sorry, sir, we're currently close. Hey, let go of me. Sly, get back here, quick. Help, Sly! This guy is crazy! I've got him locked out, but... Oh, no! Sly! He's breaking down the door! Where are you? Please help! Help! Nah, Sly Cooper. My boy on the inner side picked up those pictures of me you sent to the cops. Nice a try, but I own this a town. Put my friend down, or I'm gonna knock out all of your teeth, one at a time, and make you eat them. <laughs> That's the toughest talker you got! You're pathetic! Back in my day, we had enforcers that would make people pee their pants just as soon as a look at them. Believe me, old-timer, I don't make idle threats. Oh, I know all about you and your crack little gang. You ain't nothing without these little guys' brains! So, I figure I'll just scoop them out real slow and use them to fertilize my tomato plants. I'm allergic to tomatoes. Fly! Crank it up. Activate. Shock on. Let go of me, you geriatric fiend. Shut up and hold still. Turn it on! I swear I'll get you for this! You won't get in nothing but a grave, pal! Sly, hurry it up! Pipe it down, lunch meat! Want this runt? Take him! I won't forget about this. You guys are dead! You okay, Bentley? I'm fine. My ego's bruised, but it'll heal.
right for the opera recital in just a few minutes. We did a good job taking out the advertising. No one's shown up to listen. No audience means no demolition demonstration. True, but to finish the job, we'll need to take out the main tar vacuum. Use your disguise to gain entry to the opera house. Then head down to the pump room and let me in through the side door. No problem, signore. Halt! What's the midnight password? Sending password now. Alto base, alto, alto. Okay, don't be long inside. The boss's offer recital is about to start. Stay in disguise here or the operation's a bust. Halt! Vacuum room password? Sending password now. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Okay, this recital is gonna be a drag. Between you and me, I hate opera. You there, what's the carnival password? Transmitting password. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Yep, the boss has been practicing for months for this day. He sings a great. Mm. Hello again, I said. Oh, you again. Recognize you. What's the secret soprano password? Uh, yep, here it is. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Okay. Pass a word to the rest of the guys that under no circumstances am I to be disturbed during my big comeback recital. Yes, sir. I'm certainly looking forward to the performance. Oh, once I'm done in the pump room, I'll be headed out to the stage. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, would you help me with this double-button security door? But of course! For a fellow musical lover, it would be a pleasure! On a three. One, two, three! Again! On a three. One, two, three! Be quick in there, you won't want to miss out! <laughs> Slide! All over here! Nice to see you, pal. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. You ready with the bombs? Once I've destroyed all six tar pipes, the vacuum should start to lose suction. Look, if those bombs attract any guards, let me do the fighting. You just focus on taking out the tar pipes. We need to stay on schedule. Uh, might take some more bombs. We've got company. Just stay on those tar pipes. This could get hairy. This is getting serious. Better hurry it up with those pipes. Partner, is there still time to catch Octavio's recital? We're right on schedule. If my calculations are correct, he should be about to perform an aria originally written as a duet. That's when we strike. Think he'll really let you on stage with him? Of course, he's a musician. He'll be overjoyed to have a lyrical counterpoint. Just be ready to drop the chandelier when I've lured him underneath. Uh, 
Ah, Mr. Tomato Fertilizer. You got a death wish? I couldn't resist showing you up at what you treasure most. Opera singing. You're a vocalist. Fine. A duet is coming up. Will the singer first? And then I'll gut you. Bring it on, Grandpa. I'll sing you under the table. switch I never ever freeze I'll drive you shoot I need immediate pickup criminals are headed east all units converge Roger sorry Cooper this time I've got you surrounded This is it. Shoot out his engine and we'll have him. The canal is full of cops. We're in big trouble here. It's over, Octavio. You're beat. 
Give us the demolition switch and we'll all try to ditch these cops. You chase on me for this? Fine, the big shot. Took me six months to prepare this deal. But what the heck? I got more where this came from. You guys see that boat go out of control and jump and smash into that thing? Destruction! So cool! You think that was a cool punk? <laughs> <laughs> you monster! Stop it! Stop it! Murray, I need your help. I've never seen someone move that fast. Octavio's old, but he's still got it. Let's take him together. But... But I vowed to my guru that I'd renounce all violence. And the water is still black. It'll be clear any minute. Trust me. Now, let's take him. You're right to be scared, Hippo. Your wheelchair friend should have been so smart. Murray! Help! That does it! I'll floss my teeth with your spine! Oh. The Murray returns! He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. The valve's empty. I'll crack another. I'm ready. Lure him in. Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a box! But I'm not holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death! The Murray knows no song but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph! We're talking, a stupid kid, and die! I'll unlock the next one. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. That's it. The old gods out, and a new generation steps in. That's right. Step it in, big time. Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. It was touch and go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Octavio wasn't so lucky. The guy got 30 years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the clink. 
But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Once he put on those gloves and that mask, it was clear to everyone, most of all him, that the Murray had returned.